So, it, was there anything that brought you out to this election, or did you just vote every, you come for every election? Or? Yeah, we yeah. come for every election, but of course this is probably, not probably, this is the most important election of our lifetime. Right. So, and so this, for, the, for the primaries, anyone that brought your eye that was important that you came out, or any of the ballot issues, or? Um, yeah, not necessarily anyone that was more important, or, or anyone that really hit me hard, you know, because we, we got, of course, inundated with all this information in the mail. Right. But, you know, we just, we just kind of researched it and just uh, checked out folks who we think would be best for our environment. We just need to get someone in there who can unify the country. Uh -huh. And the present administration is not doing that and not even seeking to do that, you know. So we, we need someone who can get in there and kind of bring us back together because we're kind of afraid. And of course, you know, the present administration has brought out a lot of uh, thoughts and feelings from folks that, 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 that was there, but now they're on Main Street. And how about the pandemic? How do you think that's been handled by the administration? Horribly, horribly. I mean, there's just so many lies, so much misinformation, which causes more people to lose their lives. Um, because the information is not correct. Um, you can't give information and not look at the science. You know, the science is most important, it's real. the Black Lives Matter? Horribly. Uh, we absolutely s support Black Lives Matter. Um, the administration, um, everything is personal. It's not about the country. It's about how it affects that administration personally, which it, it, you know, he's in the wrong, he, he, he's in the wrong job. Was there any candidate specifically that brought you out to the primaries today? Um, not specifically. I haven't been living in Detroit that long, like less than a year. So I don't really know that much about what's going on, but I don't know. I just think it's important to exercise your right to vote because, you know, people of color and women didn't have that right not so long ago. Was there any policies that were brought up to you specifically uh, during this primary election? The education system and the funding that they're trying to get towards uh, Detroit public schools, I thought was a really great issue. I think that's super important that kids get the proper education. Are you excited for the November election? <laughs> Um, I am excited. I'm excited to see what the results are and who hopefully gets <laughs> elected into office. Yeah. Is there any candidate specifically that you're kind of leaning towards um, come November? Definitely Biden. I mean, I don't really agree with 100% everything that he stands for, but I do think he is the better candidate out of everyone that's running. How about with Trump? Have you had any ideas on whether he's been handling the pandemic well at all? Oh God, um, I don't think he's handling it very well at all. He's not focused on the right things. Like I heard that he's talking about banning TikTok, which is some kids app. I don't think that's really of relevance or importance right now at all. So I don't, I just feel like there's more important things that he needs to be focusing on. And he's just, the reason that we're like in this right now is because he hasn't taken it seriously. How do you think he's been handling the Black Lives Matter protests that have been happening across uh, the United States? I don't feel like he doesn't really care like he <laughs> is not he has made it clear in the past that he doesn't stand for um, people of color's rights as much as the white person so I feel yeah. like I don't know he just he's not really doing anything at all were there any candidates specifically that brought you out to the polling places uh, kind of you know the sheriff he's like one of our primary interests I like what he's doing in Detroit the changes okay. he's made so far his impact it's been pretty positive I didn't really have anybody specific in mind. I just wanted to do my part. Any local policies for you guys that brought you out? Maybe in your community specifically? Um, not this time around. I'm hoping the next time around some things that we're really passionate about will show up on the ballot. Are you guys excited for this November election? Yeah, yeah. Especially for the normalcy to return in terms of how our ballots are structured. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that because there's a little bit more flexibility in choosing who you want, whether you're crossing over from, you know, one side to another party. Is there any candidate, presidential candidate specifically <laughs> that you, that kind of... Not Trump. You know... <laughs> <laughs> I've always said whether you're voting for the fox or you're voting for the wolf, I mean, you never know what you're going to get in office. You're just hopeful that they'll make a better 
I don't know, bring something, some kind of positive change around than what we've seen so far. Well, how well do you think that he has tackled the pandemic with COVID? I don't think he's done very well. Yeah. But as you see, we've had, we're still having a lot of chaos happening. People don't know what to do with themselves. And it's, like, it's not like he's helping us. He seems a little deficient in his knowledge base. Even though he's got a team of supporters around him, I don't think he's listening. I think he listens after the fact. And at this time, you can't, we can't afford for the delayed response and the delayed listening. We need active listening and we need active action. And he hasn't really displayed that. I don't. I think he's done a pretty poor job at how he's managed it. I look at all the other countries, our neighboring countries, and they're pretty much turning around and making a miraculous comeback. Meanwhile, we're still escalating in numbers. We're still spiking, and I'm not understanding why we're still spiking and peaking while everybody else is coming back to recovery. So that speaks a lot of volumes about his, you know, his, and I guess his efforts in trying to resolve this. It hasn't been very cool.